Hello Capricorns. I am here to do your love story for July. So I'm going to lay out the cards in a line and I'm going to read them as a series of sequential events or meetings or people. And I like to give fair warning if things that are kind of on the side of your love journey show up like work, finances, family, friends, anything like that, then that's I, that's what I call them. I, I talk about them as things that are influencing, possibly interfering with your love life. I don't try to leave them out. The devil, the devil is all over July. It's not just you. And actually, I do not dissociate this card with Capricorns. I know a lot of readers do. I don't. Um, but you are, I think, even the third sign to have it as the very first card. So the devil's out there. King of Rods. Three of Cups. Five of Cups. Hmm. Sorry, I'm kind of bumping the camera there. I apologize for that. I think somebody that you are interested in or involved with is wrestling with something. I think this is the person that you're interested in. So the devil is attachments, potentially addictions. Um, yes, it can be passion, especially with the king of rods. But there's, I feel like there's nobody that he's passionate with here. This is your friends and this is sorrow. And I think that, that uh, the Capricorns that I'm reading for, that this is you talking to your friends about your concern for this person and this person's fixation with something. And, you know, could that devil be another person? It could be. It could be that you have an interest or you're talking to friends about somebody who is in a toxic relationship. And then the Three of Swords. So, I don't know. You know, some people would read this as third party with the two threes. I don't necessarily think that's the case here. Unless that third party, um, yeah, it could be a person, but it could be an activity. Um, I'm just getting, like, the King of Rods. I mean, he may not be an addictive personality in the sense of... Um, you know, obsessing over any little thing. But this person, I think, has fallen down a rabbit hole that so that whatever this devil represents is taking over that person's life to the detriment of their social life, whether that's a relationship with you or any other aspect of their social life. And I feel like this is your reaction to that. Um, it's a feeling partly of helplessness and disappointment um, for what's going on here. And again, here are your friends in the middle. And I feel like the, this is... I feel like your friends are what, what is keeping you sane. And I don't think you're willing to let go of this person as they go through this, but it's, it's really affecting you. Queen of Pentacles. And then the Eight of Pentacles. And the Six of Pentacles. So I take this Queen of Pentacles to represent you. So here we are, totally in the Pentacles, the earthy energy, the practical energy. Um, 
So I see you kind of pulling yourself up by your bootstraps, focusing on your work. I'm kind of not liking the Six of Pentacles here because I'm worried that that you are somehow being codependent with this person, like supplying them with what they need to continue to do this. And that's part of your incentive to work hard. We have the Five of Wands and the Page of Cups. Let me see what's on the other side of the Page of Cups, the Four. So the Six of Pentacles, which is whether it's someone giving to you or somebody, what do they call it, breadcrumbing. Somebody breadcrumbing you. I hope this person isn't like controlling your finances, right? Like you're working and feeling like you need to turn your money over to this person. And then they give you only a little bit back. Like you're working hard and they breadcrumb you. You're contributing X to more, I think, than this person likely. To, you know, a joint bank account. Um, but for some reason you feel like you need your partner's approval before taking out a certain amount of money and that, that person is always saying no. So I hope that's not the case. But I feel like this giving, um, you know, and it could be that you are giving to other people. Your friends are here kind of central, you, that you're giving. It creates conflict. The giving creates conflict of some kind. If you have applied for a loan, which the Six of Pentacles can um, indicate, there's really fierce competition for that same money, or a grant, say, you know, something that's limited. There's fierce competition for it. And the Page of Cups with the Four of Pentacles is kind of like, I'm sorry, but I'm pulling back my support. I'm sorry, but I'm keeping the money now for myself. Not, I'm not supplying anybody else. I'm not giving out loans right now. I've got my own plans for the money. So it's kind of trying to do it gently with the Page of Cups or deliver the news in a soft manner. But it's still um, making it clear that you're you consider your security important. More important than supporting anybody else. So it's interesting, um, and it could be your gift. You know, you're the sea goat. You're the, you know, the person who kind of has that watery energy and that strong earth energy. But how you can go from this could even be, you know, the Tarot can be over dramatic, but you know, it could be disappointment, worry, or regret about the situation to a switch. And now you're practical. This is a weakness here, maybe, but now you're, re you're down to brass tacks and you really are being practical. Let's see how it unfolds. Well, you win the day. Let's just say that. We've got earth, 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 practical, practical energy. You win the day. I mean, winning isn't always fun, right? Let's just, let's get that out there too. But um, because it's creating some distance with this person for sure. But you have the Ten of Pentacles. To me, this is you having a talk with somebody and saying and asserting the importance of security and the future, future security. 
you know, and then you have the Knight of Pentacles. I don't know if this is you or if it's the person that you are slowing down by, by digging in and asserting what is practical reality about a situation. Um, and I kind of do think it's the other person because this person is going to back up, but they still have castles in the sky. So if you manage to bring whoever it is, if it's this person or if it's somebody else in your life, whoever you manage to kind of give a reality check to, especially regarding financial things and security, um, they will slow down, but their head is still full of fantasies. They're going to give it a break. All right, this is, okay, this is great. Two of Cups. To me, this says that, all right, this person is correcting their behavior. They still have dreams and fantasies. They're giving it a break because the relationship is important to them. Okay, so don't be afraid, Capricorns, to, to be who you are, to assert the importance of practical matters and financial matters. Um, because this person is going to come around, however slowly and reluctantly and still hanging on to some things, but they they take a break, they peace out from, if, again, if this is kind of some addictive behavior creeping in, they get control of it. Four of Swords, they take a break from it because you your relationship is that important to them, that they are willing to make that adjustment. Yep, and you and you return with the judgment card coming back to life. You return to a prior a prior stage in your relationship. All right, boy, that was difficult. You had that was suspenseful for me. <laughs> I wasn't sure how that was going to work out. So I'm glad. Whoever it is, um, this could also read like somebody new coming in that doesn't work out and then you getting together with somebody who, from the past. But um, reading it as a, con as a continuous story, I think you bring somebody around to your way of seeing things. Um, and it could be beyond. We could be talking beyond July uh, because I've kind of extended this because, like I said, I'm kind of in suspense <laughs> Let's see who's going to win out here. Um, but you do, in the end, turn this person to look to look you in the eye. You know, look me in the eye. And then they're like, yeah, this relationship is, is too important to me to, uh, to, be, to be doing stupid things that could potentially sacrifice it and sur sacrifice our well-being on into the future. And so you return to a prior, smoother, more affectionate time in your relationship. There you go, Capricorns. That's what I have for you for July. Um, July is a really busy month for me, so I probably won't be doing some of the extra readings that I do on here, but I will be back in August. Take care. Bye-bye.